Hello and welcome to my Monday morning blog. If you're like me, you just finished watching Tiger win for the first time in two years. I've been watching the progress over a couple years now. And I, in 1998, I did my first appearance on the Golf Channel. And I was talking about that you had to swing crooked to hit a golf ball straight. Had to swing crooked to hit a golf ball straight. I, I started, that was in 1998. I was taught how to do it in 1985. It seems like this is this brand new thing that we're all starting to catch on to. And I guess the, the, the point I want to make is there is nothing new in golf. It's all old, rehashed, or we have to start teaching it better, which I plan to do right now, starting right today. What I want to do is I want to start and do a little series on how Tiger's doing what he's doing. Now, I know that the mass majority of people out there are going to try to do what you see Tiger doing, what you see Gray McDowell doing, what you're going to start seeing everybody doing it now that you're starting to know what to look for. But you're probably going to fail miserably trying to do it. And then you're going to say it doesn't work. You're going to say you're cutting across it or you're coming over the top. I've been doing this all my life, and what, what kind of really irks me about it is you could be this far away from getting it and you completely abandoned it because you have, you didn't get the total picture. And the golf world, everybody's doing that. They want one little tip that fixes everything, which, to easily state it, there's five things that you have to do right in the golf swing to make the ball come out really good. If you've got four of them already correct and you happen to stumble upon a little tip that is the right tip for you because you have the other four correct, instantly things can get better. So therefore, we say, yes, tips do work. Well, you can't do it that way. There has to be a set game plan, or you're just going to run around in circles and make the same mistake all your pro pre predecessors did. And you know what? It, stop doing it. So today, what I want to talk about is why, apparently, swinging over the top or swinging left does work and can work. Here's how it can work. If your center is on top of the golf ball. If it's on top of the golf ball, swinging left on plane can work. If you're behind the golf ball, it won't work. So we have to get rid of start you have to get rid of trying to stay behind it. You've got to learn to get on top of the golf ball before it'll work or the whole plan ceases to exist. It won't will not work for you. You'll pull it way to the left or you'll slice it way off to the right. You have to get on top of it. You see, teaching the pivot is not a sexy thing to do. Uh, many of us trying to make a living doing this, teaching golf, would never make a li living just trying to teach people to pivot correctly. Everyone thinks it's all in the swing. Swing's really important, but so is the pivot. If we're entering this project and we're saying, OK, how do we get all the right pieces in place? This is a huge part of it. Maybe the biggest part of it, and I'll say the reason why is, teaching your arms what line to swing on isn't hard. Teaching your hands what to do isn't hard if you know what you're doing. Learning to pivot correctly is, and one of the biggest reasons that it is, is because we all buy into, or we've been told to get our weight on our right foot and shift it. I'll tell you what, on the surface, that sounds right. I, there's no arguing it sounds correct, but it isn't correct. Number two reason we don't get it. We all start worrying about this reverse C thing. I mean, that went out with polio. I mean, that, that, that's what stops us from learning this game is these people terrifying you of being afraid to do the very thing you have to do. So with my, my weight shift monitor here, I practice getting on top of the golf ball. I practice getting on top of the golf ball. I've said in many, many, uh, if not all my videos, the secret to golf is learning how to sustain a line of compression through a golf ball. It's learning how to create lag pressure and keep it. Create it and keep it. Create it and keep it. The way I keep it is by getting my weight pressure on the golf ball. So when I hit it, I'm on top of the ball. You've heard that, being on top of the ball. I, it's like I trap it. I trap it, but I trap it because I'm on top of it. So. One of the major things that, that you have to do, if not the major thing, is if this is the thing that you're going to try to do, and do. Because it's wonderful, it's great, it works. But you need to get some real good understanding of why 
you need to swing left. If I'm swinging towards you, I have to swing left on plane. Why that won't pull it way over there and why that won't slice it. Okay, so bottom line. You have to get the pivot correct. You have to get your weight pressure to get on top of the golf ball. You have to learn to get your arms on plane. That's no real big deal. But, 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 you also have to make sure your hands work correctly. There's at least those three things in charge, and then there's ball position, and then there's the uh, thing called a vertical drop. All totally learnable if you go into the thing and it's, take it like it's a process. Get one thing in place, then the next thing in place, then the next thing in place, and here's what will eventually happen. So <laughs> you can't avoid it. You see these guys swinging left. You see the ball going out and drawing. Makes no total, no, makes no sense to what we've been told. But you see the ball doing it, so there must be a way to do it. Yeah, it is like a magic trick. Until you know what you're looking for, you probably would never see it. The thing that you're not seeing is how well these guys pivot and stay on top of the golf ball. Pivot and stay on top of the golf ball. I hope you enjoy that. Go to my, my website, www.lagandload.com. There's all kinds of information on it. It's truly a, a, a great way to swing a golf club, but it has to be a plan. It just can't be a series of tips that kind of go nowhere. The pivot is the hardest part. The swing is the easiest part. Hope you enjoyed.